Hello, Master Gardeners. I'm standing in front of an autumn olive shrub that's in full bloom. And I thought it would be appropriate to show you what the flower blossom looks like because when hikers in the park see this particular plant, they comment on the wonderful fragrance of the flowers and that they'd like to have that shrub in their yard. But when in fact this Eliagnus is a Maryland invasive and many of the Eliagnus species are invasive throughout the United States and through Canada. So this is uh, Eliagnus angustifolia and then Eliagnus umbellata. So there's different Eliagnuses. The common name is autumn olive because the foliage looks very similar to an olive. But other than that, there is no relationship to olive. But it is an invasive species that was introduced intentionally because it's adaptable to all different kinds of soils. It's growing here in full sun, but it can adapt to partial shade. It can grow along stream sides, flood plains, open fields. It's very versatile. And one of the attributes of the root system is it's capable of fixing nitrogen. And that's one of the reasons it was introduced in 1830 for reclamation of soils around mining sites and for reforestation purposes and then used as windbreaks. And you can see it's a multi-stem, dense, deciduous plant shrub. So come on over. Let's take a look at it. Common name, oleaster, uh, autumn olive, so other common names. You can even find this particular plant in a United States foraging book because the berries that it produces, prolifically I might add, are actually edible. And they're very high in lycopenes. And I'll tell you another characteristic of this plant is it is a, a pollinator attractor. Can you see this little bumblebee in there flying around? And yesterday when I was down here, this plant was just humming with pollinators. So you might think, well, that's an attribute, but not really because this guy is so adaptable and it takes over. When it first started in these particular fields, it was over on the far side and then they stopped farming this lower end because it was a riparian buff buffer zone. And then these plants have just introduced themselves up and down the hedgerow. There you can see one, two, three, and let me show them to you down this way. There's multiple, look how tall this one is here. 20, easily 20 feet tall. So they can get very large and just loaded with flower blossoms. The blossoms become a red berry in the fall. It's actually a, technically it's a droop. But the big characteristic that is helpful for identification is the silvery back of the leaves and also all the leaves and flowers and stems are covered with little lenticel dots all over it. I'm not so sure whether you can see it on the stem here. Try to hold it still you might be able to view those little lenticels that are on the stems. Let's come on down here. Let's see if I can get in there close enough that again, you might be able to see the little dots. The dots are even all over top of the, the little red berries. They say a plant can make as many as, get this, 80 pounds of fruit on it during the fall season. And it's consumed oftentimes by cedar waxwings, robins, uh, what other birds? Gross beaks, but adaptable to well-drained soils, drought resistance. It said it in the book, it can even tolerate a 4.0 pH. Here's a nice view of the back of the leaf, how silvery it is. Lancelet leaf, smooth, no teeth on it. There it is, just long and narrow. This one's almost three inches, three inches long. And can you see the little dots? See the little dots even on the leaf itself. So there you go, Russian olive and Eliagnus, bad guy, and you can't even cut it off to the ground or burn it and assume that you've controlled it because it's such a versatile plant, it just shoots back up from the ground. So this is one that really demands an herbicide, basil cut it off the ground and do a glyphosate treatment right on the stem to destroy that root system. So there you go, it looks like a beautiful plant that's covered with pollinators, but a bad guy. Russian olive, Master Gardeners.